Hello, my name is James Tracy. I'm a master club fitter here at Second Swing. And in today's video, I wanna talk a little bit about the process that we use when we're doing a custom club fitting over the phone. Just like our in-store fittings, here at Second Swing, we follow a very specific process when trying to recommend the right clubs for golfers who are trying to get better with their equipment. So just like in the stores, the most important step and really the first step is a detailed interview. A lot of questions I like to ask when talking to someone on the phone or in a video chat would be to have them talk to me a little bit about the current clubs that they're playing. If we're interested in a driver, what's the model? What loft do they play? What can they tell me about the shaft or any adjustments that they've made? And most importantly, what's the type of ball flight that they have? What's the type of ball flight they want? And maybe what's a mishit that they're struggling with? The more I can learn about their current clubs and their current performance, the easier it is for me to start to narrow down the rest of the questions to try to filter all hundreds of thousands of clubs that are available to them down to the specific clubs that are engineered specifically to help them with the tendencies that they have. So in a driver, for example, we might be talking to a golfer over the phone who struggles with a slice. There's a lot of us that struggle with that miss hit. Well, right away, once I know that that's their miss hit and I know that they're playing a driver that currently doesn't have any technology trying to help to square the club face, my thought instantly is to think about club heads that might have a little bit of a heel weight, um, an adjustable hosel that allows the driver to go more upright or maybe close the club face. Uh, or just clubs in general that in the thousands of fittings that myself and my colleagues have done, the drivers that have tended to work really well at combating a miss to the right for a right-handed player. So right away, I may maybe just by one question, I've narrowed the search down from hundreds of drivers down to maybe a handful. From there, learning more about their driver, like the loft that they're playing and the way that their trajectory compares to those in their group might tell me a little bit about the type of loft that we should be suggesting. Usually loft isn't something you have to marry yourself to with the advent of the adjustable hosel. Almost every driver out there has the ability to adjust the loft. Um, so starting in the right loft is based a lot on the trajectory that you're shooting for and if you're a player that struggles with too much spin. One of the most complicated questions that we see in fittings and a challenge to fit over the phone, to be honest, is the shaft. Fortunately for golfers, second swing has hundreds upon thousands of fittings to rely on and expert training uh, uh, opportunities that our fitters go through throughout the year to learn more about shaft design and the profiles of the shafts that are available and the equipment available on our online store. Knowing the types of shafts that a customer or a golfer might be best fit into helps us narrow the search down even more, making sure the shaft has the right weight, the right flex based on the club head speed a player might have, uh, the right launch conditions. You know, if we're trying to make the golf ball go higher, have we selected a head and a loft and a shaft that all complement the ball flight that that player is trying to look for. Over the phone, we're also talking about things like lie angle, settings on the driver, the grip, the length of the driver, the swing weight of the driver, all of those customizations you can make at secondswing.com with the help and guidance of a club fitter. And I'm talking about drivers, but to be honest, over the last few days, I've had calls about wedges, fitting bounce and grind for the right set of wedges putters, figuring out if a golfer should be using a five wood or a three hybrid, or whether a combo set makes sense to do in a new iron set. So if you have any club questions at all, even if you can't jump on a launch monitor and see the numbers, you can talk to a club expert who knows the data, who knows how club technology works, and can help articulate it and explain it to you to make a more informed club purchase or just to learn more about the clubs that you have. Please visit secondswing.com or call our online sales and fitting support number to learn more about what a phone consultation or a live video chat online fitting can do for your game.